Madam President of the Hellenic Republic, Madam Minister of Culture, Dialina, Mr. Regional Governor of the South Aegean, Your Eminence, Bishop of Cyclades, Mr. Director of the Ephorat of Antiquities of the Cyclades, dear Dimitris, Mr. Mayor of Sikinus, dear Vasilis, Madam President of Hellenic Eteria, dearest Lydia, dear colleagues and friends, what an honor and joy to be back to this stunningly beautiful Cycladic island for this very solemn occasion. My first visit took place in June last year when a high delegation of Europa Nostra and Hellenic Eteria visited the ongoing restoration sites of Episcopi. Ever since that visit, I have remembered the convincing words of Costa Caras, founding president of Hellenic Eteria and for 48 years, vice president and most influential leader of Europa Nostra. He told us, Episcopi is such a unique monument of our Europe and its restoration is so superb that this project must be a top candidate for a European Nostra European Heritage Award. As usual, our Costa was there. He would have been very proud to celebrate with us today this much deserved European award. And Costa would have also been very moved, particularly moved, that this year Europa Nostra and the European Commission have given not one, but two awards to Greece. One for the outstanding restoration of Episcopi, and the other honoring, alas, posthumously, Costa Caras as a unique heritage champion who has left a lasting legacy and mark on so many of us in Greece and across the world. Madam Minister, last time we met was around one year ago. It was in the Epirus. We met to celebrate the European Heritage Award, the Europa Nostra Award, for another extraordinary project, the renaissance of the Placa Bridge. I remember that at that time I said, I think I have never spoken on a more stunning location. And look at this. Greece will never stop surprising and inspiring our Europe. Thank you, thank you. Greece. You must, many of you ask yourself why, why? An eminent group of European experts who form our European jury decided to allocate an award for the restoration of Episcopi and why it caught their hearts and minds. They were deeply impressed by the top quality restoration that the Greek Ministry of Culture and Sports, its effort of antiquities for the Cyclades undertook to give a new life to this heritage treasure which is so loved by the people of Sikinus, and which is a source of such a proud, as we could feel during the passionate speech that the mayor of Sikinus made this evening. After its momentous history as a Roman mausoleum, Byzantine church, and subsequently a monastery, for the last half a century, Episcopi was closed to the public, facing the risk of oblivion and even collapse. Episcopi, with its moving story of love and faith, became a sleeping beauty, waiting for her Prince Charming. But as is the case in all successful conservation projects, this, could, this awakening could not be done by one person, but rather by a large group of princes and princesses who joined their skills, their voices and forces to achieve the renaissance of Episcopi. From the civil society activists, uh, from Eleniki Etaria, creating on Sikinos one of their parts of culture, another proud Greek winner of our European Heritage Award, to generous benefactors, Tanasis and Marina Martino, also present today on Sikinos, who have supported the preliminary studies, and finally, the impressive team of heritage professionals of the Greek Ministry of Culture, led by Dimitris Atanasouris, who have realized the restoration project funded jointly by Greece and the European Union. Madam President of the Hellenic Republic, 
your presence today at Sikimus confirms the exceptional value of the Episcopi project for the Cycladus and for Greece. Let me seize this opportunity to pay tribute to your country and to all heritage professionals and activists in Greece. Their expertise and dedication are an example and an inspiration for Europe as a whole as confirmed by 35 European awards given to Greek projects in the last 20 years, nine of which have been given to the sites in the Cyclades. <laughs> Let me add that Europa Nostra is the European voice of civil society committed to cultural and natural heritage, is particularly proud of our 50 years of partnership and friendship with Eleniki Eteria. And this partnership is this year entering in a new phase with the recent launch of the European Nostra Heritage Hub in Athens, uh, with the support of the city and the mayor of Athens, which will help us strengthen collaboration through cultural heritage in Southeast Europe, with a special focus on Western Balkans, where I happen to come from, and also in the European, East, uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean. Dear colleagues and friends, in today's difficult times, we all need the light of hope and faith that the forces of good will prevail over the forces of evil. The renaissance of Episcopi on Sikinos precisely give us that hope. It also reinforces our strong conviction that culture and cultural heritage matter for a more peaceful and sustainable Europe and for the well-being of our citizens and their living environment. On behalf of the European Commission and Europa Nostra, I congratulate all of you who made such a success possible. Today, Sikinos is the proud European capital of Europe's cultural heritage. Congratulations.